Hello guys. Welcome to another video. You are at right place for training of topographical test. We provide training for topographical test and SERU test. Transport for London. TFL mock test 3. 1. PHV drivers must not stop on which parts of the road? A. Double yellow lines. B. Zigzag lines. C. Red lines. D. Single yellow lines. Correct answer is B. Zigzag lines. 2. How must you enter and leave the bus lane? A. In a direct and safe way. B. Quickly and efficiently. C. Only at or near junctions. D. You can never enter the bus lane. Correct answer is A. In a direct and safe way. 3. Who can use taxi ranks? A. Licensed London taxis. B. PHV drivers. C. Any car that can be used as a taxi. D. All of the above. Correct answer is A. Licensed London taxis. 4. What can electric taxi charging points be used for? A. Charging any PHVs. B. Charging any cars. C. Selling charge to normal electric cars. D. Only for charging electric taxis. Correct answer is D. Only for charging electric taxis. 5. Who can give out penalty charge notices, PCNs? A. Only the police. B. On-street parking attendants or enforcement officers. C. Privately hired street wardens. D. All of the above. Correct answer is B. On-street parking attendants or enforcement officers. 6. Do PHVs entering the congestion charge zone need to pay the daily charge? A. Yes. B. No. C. This varies on a case-by-case -case basis. D. Yes unless they have an exemption. Correct answer is D. Yes unless they have an exemption. 7. What Euro rating must diesel PHVs be in order to meet the ULEZ emission standards? A. Euro 6. B. Euro 4. C. Euro 3. D. Euro 5. Correct answer is A. Euro 6. 8. What Euro rating must petrol PHVs be in order to meet the ULEZ emission standards? A. Euro 6. B. Euro 4. C. Euro 3. D. Euro 5. Correct answer is B. Euro 4. 9. What kind of behavior should you avoid when driving? A. Dangerous driving. B. You should avoid behavior that causes any danger to you, your passengers and other road users. C. Slow and steady driving. D. You should avoid behavior that causes any financial harm to you, your passengers and other road users. Correct answer is B. You should avoid behavior that causes any danger to you, your passengers and other road users. 10. What speed must you drive at? A. Go as quick as possible. B. Always drive at the speed limit. C. Always drive at 5 miles per hour below the speed limit. D. Drive at a speed within the speed limit and one that is appropriate for the situation. Correct answer is D. Drive at a speed within the speed limit and one that is appropriate for the situation. 11. What kind of driving is a serious offense with heavy penalties? A. Driving quicker than the speed limit. B. Careless or dangerous driving. C. A driving at night with passengers. D. Driving whilst distracted. Correct answer is B. Careless or dangerous driving. 12. Is it ever acceptable to use alcohol when driving? A. No, but you can use recreational drugs. B. Yes, you can drink as long as you are under the limit. C. Yes, a drink is fine if you have had a stressful day. D. You must never drive while you are under the influence of alcohol. Correct answer is D. You must never drive while you are under the influence of alcohol. 13. Which annex of the highway code deals with vehicle maintenance? A. Annex 8. B. Annex 6. 
C. Annex 4. D. Annex 5. Correct answer is B. Annex 6. 14. From which age must PHV drivers have a medical assessment every year? A. 65 years. B. Is 60 years. C. 55 years. D. Is 67 years. Correct answer is A. 65 years. 15. Drivers are responsible for making sure that all children under which age wear seatbelts or sit in an approved child car seat? A. 14 years old. B. 12 years old. C. 16 years old. D. 10 years old. Correct answer is A. 14 years old. 16. If you do need to answer or make a call you will need to stop safely, park your vehicle and turn the engine off. Distractions can make you less aware of what is happening on the road and affect your judgment, so your decision-making abilities are reduced. Question. Which one of the following statements is correct? A. You can take a call whilst driving. B. Distractions can affect your judgment. C. Distractions don't really affect your decision-making abilities if you stay focused. Correct answer is B. Distractions can affect your judgment. 17. All drivers must make sure that their vehicle is maintained to the required standard. It is important that you are aware of the rules regarding passengers wearing seatbelts in PHVs. All adults must wear a seatbelt and drivers should encourage adult passengers to wear a seatbelt for their own safety. Drivers must also make sure that all children are correctly seated and restrained. Drivers are responsible for making sure that all children under 14 years of age wear seatbelts or sit in an approved child car seat. Question. Which one of the following statements is correct? A. Drivers are responsible for ensuring children under 14 years old wear their seatbelt. B. Drivers are responsible for ensuring children under 16 years old wear their seatbelt. C. Drivers are responsible for ensuring children under 12 years old wear their seatbelt. Correct answer is A. Drivers are responsible for ensuring children under 14 years old wear their seatbelt. 18. Be aware of pedestrians suddenly stepping into the road and give way to pedestrians on side roads. Be aware of cyclists at all times, but especially when you are turning, in slow-moving traffic or when you are pulling away from traffic lights. Make sure you give cyclists enough room when you overtake them. Please ask your passengers to check before they open their door into the road to make sure there isn't a cyclist coming. You must do the same. Be aware of motorcyclists at all times, but especially when you are turning or in slow-moving traffic. Question. Which one of the following statements is correct? A. Make sure you give cyclists enough room when overtaking. B. Pedestrians have right-of-way on the side of the road. C. Passengers do not have responsibility for checking for cyclists. Correct answer is. A. Make sure you give cyclists enough room when overtaking. 19. You do not need to tell TFL about any other penalty charge notices, PCNs, or parking tickets that do not result in penalty points on your driving license. However, if TFL becomes aware that you are getting frequent PCNs and or parking tickets, TFL may take licensing action against you. This is because TFL expects all licensed drivers to behave responsibly. Question, which one of the following statements is correct? A. If you receive fines totaling more than 250 pounds your license will be suspended. B. TFL does not intervene if you receive penalty charge notices. C. You do not need to tell TFL if you get a parking ticket. Correct answer is. C. You do not need to tell TFL if you get a parking ticket. 20. Driver's Compartment check that. Your seat and seatbelt are in good condition, are secure and you can adjust them as you need. The steering wheel is secure and in good condition. The clutch and brake pedals have anti-slip covers. The handbrake is in good working condition. Driver warning lights do not light up when the engine is started. The indicators are working correctly. The horn works. The windscreen washers and wipers are in good condition. 
Any devices for opening and closing the driver and front passenger windows work correctly. You can see in all the mirrors. Question, which one of the following statements is correct? A. One of the mirrors is allowed to be broken. B. The horn must work. C. The steering wheel must have an anti-theft lock. Correct answer is B. The horn must work.